in this video i'm going to explain five ways in which you charge your phone wrongly and automatically when you charge your phone wrongly it's going to affect the battery health of your phone and also i'm also going to explain at what point should you consider replacing your iphone battery with a brand new one so please if this is your first time don't forget to click on the subscribe button so that you can keep getting more of this kind of content you need to stop overcharging your iphone we might have seen a lot of people they plug their phone they leave it to charge some people think maybe whenever they get a new iphone you have to charge it for three four five hours it's not a matter of charging your phone for three to four or five hours it's a matter of charging charging your battery you know that's your iphone up to 100 percent once you connect the charger and your phone indicates 100 percent it's going to tell you to unplug charger if you refuse to unplug the charger and you leave your phone on charge it's going to drain the cell of the battery and the fact is that as human being cell is the building blocks of the body which is the cell that is making the body to function is almost the same thing as your mobile phone if you are overcharging it is going to kill the or weaken the cell of the battery so with this you are charging your phone the wrong way and it's automatically going to affect the battery health of your phone so you have to avoid that don't charge your phone overnight i'm a phone technician and we've had a whole lot of issues from people saying that they plug their phone overnight to charge and when they woke up in the morning they discovered that their phone is not working and the phone has gone off we've had a whole lot of issues on this the thing is that when you plug your phone to charge overnight at times it charges 100 percent and when you don't unplug it from charge it's going to drain or weaken the cell of the battery and at times at night you would have observed that in africa here yeah, i don't know if in other countries the at night especially at night when a whole lot of people are asleep you can see that the voltage the current of your light of your electricity increases you understand it's not like the daytime whereby there's a whole lot of people consuming the power but at night the voltage of your electricity increases that means once you leave your phone to charge overnight it is going it is going to affect the charging procedure of your phone and automatically can drain the battery of the phone or it can even burn something on your phone so you have to avoid doing that avoid plugging your phone to charge all through the night is going to affect it if your phone the engine of your phone does the functionality of your phone is weak your phone doesn't charge very well and you plug it to charge overnight it's going to affect the health of your phone and automatically it's going to affect your phone your phone might go off or maybe get what or explode one issue or the other might happen so you have to avoid charging your phone overnight and with that you're going to enjoy your iphone and use it for so long don't play games or play music or make calls while charging your phone i've had an issue with a customer that brought her phone that explained to me that and that was an i and a samsung phone and i've also had another issue with a customer that brought this or iphone brought the iphone to me explaining to me that they plug the phone on charge and while on charge they were playing music also and a call came in and when the call came in the phone went off and that was the end of the phone and the phone couldn't come back to life so you have to make sure you avoid either playing games we've seen some people while charging they are busy playing games with their phone these are not good habits it's your phone is going to affect the functionality of your phone and it's also risky to you yourself health wise you have to avoid doing such because if you continue that way it's going to affect the functionality and health of your phone so you have to avoid charging your phone while playing music or making call or playing games you have to avoid this habit with that you're going to enjoy your iphone so please don't forget to avoid doing that you don't use spoils or cut cables to charge your phone because the answer is, is very risky you have to avoid using spoiled cables we've had issues of parents that plug their phone while charging their phone they use a cut cables and their children is by the side i'm speaking to the children and you know children they whenever they see mobile phone it's like they've seen everything they go close to their phone and we've had issues of children being electrocuted through these means and a whole lot of stories and apart from that when you use spoiled cables it may not be able to charge your phone correctly and it's also dangerous to you yourself so you need to avoid using spoils or cord cables to charge your phone because of the danger in which it poses to you and your 
family. So you need to avoid using cords or spoiled charger to charge your iPhone. And the next one is don't expose your phone to sunlight while charging. We've had issues of people complaining that their phone is overheating while charging it. Normally, it's normally for your phone to overheat while charging. But when you expose it to sunlight, it's going to cause overheating and it's going to bring temperature high, which automatically is going to affect the functionality of your phone. So you need to avoid exposing your phone to sunlight or heat environment while charging because that is going to affect your phone from charging very well and functioning very well. So you need to avoid these charging habits, which is which in effect, when you avoid it, you're going to enjoy your phone and there won't be any issue while using your iPhone. So you need to avoid this habit. This other one is a plus and I'm going to explain to you at what point should you consider replacing your battery with a new one and also what does the health, the battery health of your iPhone tells you. When you go to your set, take your battery health. Some batteries are 100%, some 90% some 80 70 but once it goes below 70 to 60 to 50 that simply means the health of your battery is weak that's the cells not the health the health is also involved but it's mainly the cell because that 80 or 90 percent is not your charging percentage is the health that's the cell of the battery on your on your iphone so once it goes below 70 percent you have to replace the battery with a new one once it's 90 and 100 percent is good to go you can be able to use it that way and one thing you need to observe is that when your iPhone is below 70, you see that you charge it 100%. Whenever you charge it 100%, you observe that the battery easily goes down. Not like you're using it, even when you're not using it. You observe that the battery easily goes down on its own. It's not like the first time whereby the battery stays longer before it goes down. Even while you're using it, you observe that the battery easily goes down, drains down. Then you have to charge it. At that point, you need to discover that the cell of your battery is weak. So you have to replace it. You don't need to wait until the battery is swollen or maybe the battery is pregnant for you to discover that you have to change it. Once you use it and battery health is 70% below, you have to consider replacing your battery with a brand new one. Because if you don't do that, you're not going to enjoy your iPhone using it the right way. And with that, it's going to affect you automatically because you're not going to use your phone for long whenever you charge it. So once your battery health is 90%, 100%, you are going to know, you are going to enjoy using your phone. But once it's below 70, you have to consider replacing your iPhone battery. And what does the battery health of your phone simply tell you? Just as I explained, once your battery is 90%, 100%, it simply means that whenever you charge your phone, it's going to stay longer. It's going to last longer compared to any other whenever it's 70. But once it's below 70% that's the battery health not the charging health not the charging percentage the battery health itself once it's below 70 it simply means the cell of your iPhone is weak so you need to consider changing the cell of your battery that's what it simply means that you have to change your battery and place it with a brand new one that's just it so thank you for watching and if you like to watch more videos not just only this type a whole lot I'm going to do a whole lot on unboxing, reviewing mobile phones and televisions and whatsoever. If you are interested in all this and so many others, please don't forget to click on the like and share this video so that it can be recommended to a whole lot of other people. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more of these new videos. Thank you for your time and thank you for watching.